We know what the moon looks like from Earth, but what would the Earth look like from the moon? Pretty strange, actually. The moon is tidally locked to us, and it presents only one face to the Earth. So if you're on the near side of the moon, the Earth would always be in the sky. And if you're on the far side, you never see it. Also, it's weird there, so you probably want to move. If you were standing on the moon looking up, you'd see the Earth hanging in the sky forever, or for however long your robot body holds out. It would go through phases, like the moon, moving from total darkness through quarter illumination, full Earth, and back again. But the features on the Earth would be changing. The face of the Earth would be illuminated, and so you'd see the entire planet turning throughout the day, and you could use it to cheat on your geography test. It wouldn't be totally dark on the night side because humans. You'd see those beautiful blobs of stringy light on the shadowed parts of the Earth. Our moon follows an elliptical path around the Earth, getting as close as 365,000 kilometers and as far as 405,000 kilometers. This means the Earth would get bigger and smaller in the sky. As the Earth is much larger than the moon, it would take up 13 times as much area in the sky. The Earth wouldn't actually hang motionless in the sky. We see lunar libration from our perspective, which lets us peek around the corner of the moon. But from the moon, we see the Earth move back and forth in the sky over 27 days. Remember this famous Earthrise photo captured by Apollo 8? It's on every single sales brochure for lunar real estate. But don't be fooled. If you were on the moon, you'd never see an Earthrise like that. In fact, the only way to get a view like that is to be on a spacecraft orbiting the moon.